Hello everybody and welcome to a Lego book review. Um, I know there's not too many YouTubers out there that do Lego book reviews, so I wanted to do something slightly different to expand my YouTube content. So here I have this Lego adventure book. It was written by Megan Rothrock, and it's it was published in 2013, containing roughly 200 pages. And this is actually this book is actually not made by the Lego company, so therefore it's very cheap and inexpensive ranging from $24 to $26. It's very qual good quality. It's not the paperback. It's actually the cardboard cover. Um, it's actually very good quality. And I've had this book for years, and it still looks brand new. So, yeah, I really like this book, and I would recommend it for children under the age of 11 because the reading level for this book, I would give it a medium because it's not like uh, the Green Eggs and Ham, Go Dog Go type books. And at the same time, it's not like the William Shakespeare and those poetry and literature uh, college level books. So yeah, this is great for um, children maybe in their tween and toddler years. And at th also, this is actually um, somewhat like a comic book because it actually does have dialogue and speech bubbles throughout the book. And of course, it does have instructions where it teaches you how to make specific Lego models. And let's get right into the book. So going into the book, we will notice at a first glance that it does have a hard cover. So that makes the book very good quality, and I have actually had this for about three years now, and it looks perfectly brand new. So if we open the book, this is very user-friendly, and it's very easy to find the different chapters throughout this book. So for example, um, if, I want to learn, if I want to know how to make a Lego, well, if I want to learn how to make a Lego T-Rex, I can just um, go through all the different chapters, and for example, um, there's a just a broad variety of different themes of Legos. For example, if you're a robotic person, then you can go to Chapter 6, The Turtle Factory. If you're, um, for example, um, maybe a girl and you'd like to learn how to make uh, maybe Masonic art, then you can go to Chapter 11 about making friends on page 156. And for this demonstration, I want to go, uh, let's say that I'm into dinosaurs, like what a lot of kids are into, and I want to go to, you know, the dinosaur section of the book. So here it is right here, chapter 10, uh, Jurassic Park, page 134, and it is green. It's highlighted as green. So what I'm, all I need to do now, instead of flipping all the pages and looking for the specific number, I can just turn the book sideways like that. There's the green. Just put my fingernail in there and open right up to it. And this book is a mixture of a comic book and also an instruction book. So for example, here's the T-Rex. It teaches you how to make it. One critical thing, though, is that the instructions are really hard to follow. I personally tried to make this T-Rex, and oh my goodness, it was a mess. Um, I gave up eventually because I just couldn't figure out how to make it. Not because I didn't have enough pieces, um, but just because I just... It's too hard. I couldn't understand the instructions. Um, another reason was probably because I was a lot younger than I am now. Well, of course, I was younger, but, I mean, I was not as experienced as I am now with Lego. So, like I said, this does have um, uh, speech bubbles in it, so you can just kind of, like, follow throughout the book and look at the different themes, and it's almost like a comic book. So, yeah, I really like this book. It's, uh... It uh, has a lot of creativity in it and inspiration. And there actually is a continuing version of this. I guess it's not so much of a continuing version. Actually, I guess it is. Um, I'm surprised they didn't call it the Lego Adventure Book number two. But it's actually instead called the Lego Adventure Book. Does it? Well, there's no number on it. Just Lego Adventure Book. So these are both, the, these both have the same names, Lego Adventure Book. And they both have the same amount of pages. You know, both the same, um, you know, the same price. They're basically identical, except this one has different subjects in it. For example, um, it has, you know, pirate stuff and spaceship, different types of spaceship stuff. I don't want to open the book because you got to wait till my other book review, and that's going to be on this, so stay tuned to that. And I don't want to just give away what this book's going to be like. I just wanted to show you the front cover. So that's the continuing version. So if you're a parent and you want to give your kid, like, uh, a twin selection of books, like, uh, kind of in a way like cy encyclopedias, where once you have one encyclopedia, you have to have all the other ones. Um, it's kind of like the same thing with this book. If you have 
the Lego Adventure book, then you gotta have the other one, which is this one, so, yeah. So that's the book review. I hope this video was useful for you guys, and I hope it gave you some tips on if you should buy this book or not. And overall, I would give this a four and a half out of five stars. Um, the reason why I give it uh, one half of a star less than five is because the instructions are really hard to follow. So that is just the one critical thing. I think that is the only critical thing I can actually think about this book. Overall, it is really good, and I would definitely recommend it for kids under the age of 11. So, yeah. So that's the book review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. Bye.